So here's a simple do-it-yourself iPad marker. It has a chisel tip, looks pretty much stock, and the cap even still fits. You can throw it in your bag without any worries. Here's what we'll need to get started. First off, some simple needle nose pliers. Of course, we need some wire strippers. Some pretty nice scissors for shaping the tip later. Some conductive foam, very specific conductive foam in this case from Fry's. Don't bother going to Radio Shack and getting what you can find there. Just order this online, it's all you need. You can also use sponge, blue sponge if you have it. Of course we'll need some wire. I used just 18 gauge because I had it laying around. Exacto knife. Your trusty drill. Optionally, you might use a hammer in order to get some parts out of the marker. And very last, the actual marker. So for step one, we're just going to start off by getting the ink sponge out of the marker. Just use some pliers to pull off the back. It should fall right out. As you can see, I've already cheated and taken mine apart. And in order to get the tip out, this is where the hammer comes in handy. You can just bang on it straight down until it falls out. For step two, we go ahead and cut the wire, get about a foot long piece, strip a little bit of it, about two inches, stick that through the foam and start wrapping it around. It's important to try and get the wrap as tight as possible. Another thing to consider is that the small circle that you're making there needs to fit into the end of the marker, so you're trying to match that diameter as close as you can, sort of like that. From here, you just have to clean up the wire, strip the rest of it so that you have most of it exposed, and go ahead and set it aside for later. We're going to be drilling four holes in the marker, two on one side and two on the other. There we go, nice and clean. Two in the front, two in the back, and we're ready to put the wire inside. In order to start the wire, you have to line the tip up with a small bend in the back of the wire, and then thread that in and try and line it up with that first hole. I use pliers in order to make sure that my aim's a little bit better, but it's just a trial and error sort of thing. Make sure the foam tip is all lined up to where you want it to be with the chisel before you pull it into the marker for the final time. Otherwise it will be a little bit harder to manipulate once it's in there. And from here it's just about using the pliers and some brute strength in order to clean up the wire, get it as flat as possible, and trim it out and go ahead and put the cap back on. Now have a pretty completed marker. It's ready to go. For our final step, all we have to do is cut the foam into a chisel shape and clean it up with the scissors. There we go. Chisel tip, whiteboard marker. Let's go ahead and see if it works. Works like a charm.